Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce to you this consolidation test. So for consolidation test, we're going to use odometer apparatus. The purpose of this test is performed to determine the magnitude and rate of volume decrease that is laterally confined or specimen undergoes when subjected to different vertical pressure. So if you still remember, in your consolidation analysis, you have to plot various loads, right? From that various loads, you're going to increase the loads loading, then later you're going to have the unloading. And from that, you can actually get a various parameters of consolidations, okay? So this consolidation property determined from the consolidation test is used to estimate the magnitude and the rate of both primary and secondary consolidation settlements. Okay, I'm going to show I'm going to show to you this consolidation apparatus or this odometer apparatus. Basically, you have the body of this consolidation apparatus and you have these lever systems. So this lever system is basically the same as what you have with the direction test. Okay? So within these lever systems, you're going to put loads in here and from the loads in here, you have this counterbalance. And the loads basically going to be transmitted to the specimens that you're going to put in here. Okay, So when the soil specimens uh, in here, basically if you see that you require to put 100 kilogram loads. So with these labor systems, you just only need to put 10 kilogram if the ratio is 1 to 10. Okay, So in that case, it is very easy for you to conduct the test. You don't actually need to put 100 kilograms of loads. Okay, So later, Mr. Zabid is going to show to you how to prepare this, uh, the sample apparatus for this the test. So apart from this loading frame, you have the, the dial gauge that actually measure the vertical or actual displacements. So from this dial gauge, you can actually get um, any settlements of the samples. So it can be in the manual dial gauge or you have this LVDT that's actually connected to the computer there. So when it's connected to the computer there, straight away you'll be able to collect all of these settlements of the soil in time dependent. So within that, basically you will be able to analyze in one particular soil if it's subjected to a certain loads. So what is the magnitude of the settlements of that particular soil? Okay, now we proceed into sample preparation. This is the apparatus for odometer test. Before we can start to do the odometer test, we need to prepare the sample into this consolidation ring. Later, we're going to put the sample inside this acrylic mold. We also need vernier clipper for dimensional measurement as we need to determine the consolidation ring volume. The scales also require to determine the sample density. Using vernier clipper, we can measure the consolidation ring thickness and diameter accurately at two decimals in millimeter. Next, measure the empty consolidation ring weight. Later, you will fill this consolidation ring with soil specimens by pushing the consolidation ring into the soil specimen. This is an example of the soil specimens already prepared into the consolidation ring with excess soil around the ring already trimmed and cleaned truly. Next, measure the samples and consolidation ring weight. From this, you will be able to get the sample weight as well as the soil density. Then, assemble the consolidation apparatus. 
in this acrylic sand in the mold by placing first the lower porous stone, the bottom filter paper, consolidation ring, the top filter paper, the clamping ring, screw the locking knife, And finally, the load bag. Okay. Once the consolidation apparatus completely assembled in the acrylic cylinder mold, place the mold in the consolidation loading frame. Then fill the mold with water until it's full. Place the actual load frame of the lever system on top of the loading pad. Place the required weight for the test. In this example, we can put 5 kg of weight into the weight holder attached to the lever arm. Ensure the lever beam must be 90 degrees flat by adjusting the levy beam arm support. Adjust the vertical displacement dial gauge to be in contact with the axial load frame. Then set the vertical displacement dial gauge reading to zero. When everything is set, release the lever beam arm supports and at the same time, start the clock. This is considered the beginning of the consolidation test since the axial loads begin to apply to the soil sample when the weight support is released. Take the vertical displacement reading on a specific time interval according to the standards. Once the test completed, first release the weight. Then release the vertical displacement dial gauge and the axial load frame. After that, take the acrylic cylinder mold out from the consolidation loading frame. Unscrew the locking nut. Finally, take off the loading pad. Remove the consolidation ring from the clamping ring. Peel off the top filter paper. Measure the sample weight. Place the sample in the oven for 24 hours for Moisture content determination.